Hey, you are sneaky. Well, since you're here, let's go ahead and look at how you put shingles on where a roof meets a wall. Okay, friends, so first thing we have to put on is this drip edge stuff. It goes on, I'm gonna cut a piece to put here and then cut a piece to put on the side. So we'll put that on and then we can start working on the shingles. All right, so I have this piece of drip edge. I'm gonna put it right on down here. I'm gonna nail it. But be careful to not fall off this roof. While that would be probably pretty entertaining for you, I don't think it'd feel too great for me. So I have my bottom piece of drip edge on. Now I'm gonna put this piece to go up the side. So I got this side piece. Gotta locate my hammer. It's sneaky like you guys are. It runs away. And I like to nail drip edge about every foot or so. Ask a dozen carpenters, you're probably gonna get 10 different answers, so whatever. Okay, so now we're gonna put a starter strip on here, a starter piece of shingle. Then we're gonna put some step flashing right here. So I got my starter. I'm going to fit it by pushing it against the wall, making a small notch with my knife. And I'm gonna use my square to cut it. So now I got my starter. Starter has this tar strip that goes down at the very bottom and it allows that first shingle to seal down. So we're gonna nail it and we actually nail it lower than we would a regular shingle. We nail it just above that tar strip. And I also hang over my drip edge a quarter inch. Okay, so now I'm gonna put some step flashing. See how it's just a, like an angle, it's just an L shape. We're gonna put that right here. That way any water that gets behind is going to run on this step flashing and then come over this starter and out. It's not gonna get under and rot anything. And any water that gets up in here is going to hit the step flashing and then down. Because we're gonna have siding up in here and so any water that's running down here, it's not gonna run back behind and rot anything out. So now I got my actual shingle. I'm gonna have to cut it. And it's gonna actually lay right on top of the starter. So I will cut it hang over a quarter inch. I'm gonna mark it. Actually, I'm gonna mark that tab and then cut it. Okay, so I got my shingle cut. Right on here, flush with the bottom of the starter. There are three lines on here. You nail between these two lines for this type of shingle. 
this is a line you do not nail to. You're supposed to nail between these two lines. So it's e really easy to do when you're hand nailing. And I'm hand nailing this because I can hand nail almost as fast as I can with getting a gun, pulling out a air hose, getting a compressor set up. So if, since I'm doing just this small little roof here, I don't really need a compressor and a gun. I'm just going to hand nail it. Once you put a piece of, once you put a shingle on, then your step flashing goes next. And it goes just a little bit above the overlap when the next shingle is gonna come down. And you nail it on the wall. So you, you press it down flat onto the shingle and then you nail it onto the wall. That way you don't have any nails poking through this to where water would get in there and then be able to go in. So that's about it, folks. We're just gonna continue this up, continue putting shingle and then step flashing, shingle and step flashing all the way up. Hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate the views. Make sure you work hard because hard work is its own reward. And try to better yourself today. Do something today to make yourself better than yesterday. Physical fitness, go for a run, do some push-ups, read a book, something that's not on your phone, or try to learn something new. All right, folks, we'll see you on the next one.